we can talk about the impact on on the Dobbs decision, but I'm having a good time talking about the personalities involved here. Yeah. So let's keep going. Let's talk about key, two key figures on the court, Chief Justice John Roberts and Justice Clarence Thomas. Um, they, uh, Justice Thomas has been the focus of a ProPublica expose on his relationship and business dealings with a, with a billionaire donor. Um, and this raises uh, an, an audience question. This question comes up from Deanna McMahon sure. from California. Deanna asks, what's going on okay. with John Roberts? No public statement about the right or wrong of Clarence Thomas's activities. It seems that he has given up leadership of the court. You know, I do think John Roberts could have been more vocal, but he's got, you've got a tough, he's got a weak hand with his colleagues. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have struggled behind the scenes and are still struggling behind the scenes on some sort of formal ethics code. And I believe that Chief Justice Roberts would like them to adopt that. But you can't handle that the way you'd handle a case. You can't say we're going to have a six to three, you know, ethics code. Six of us will abide by it and three won't. You know, so that's a real problem. And I think people have looked to John Roberts for some sort of moral leadership here. But uh, just as we saw in the Dobbs decision, how he can't control everything, he definitely can't control everything behind the scenes uh, when it comes to off-bench behavior, too. 